This is Math 432 Applied Combinatorics. I'm Professor Asaf, and the problem of the day is the following. A box has infinitely many balls in three colors. So here are my infinitely many balls. And they come in three colors. On average, how many draws until I get one of each color? So I'm just thinking about drawing randomly. Now you can't see that I'm not actually looking, but ah, I see I've already succeeded. We can think about it this way. We're collecting coupons and maybe we're buying a box and in each box we get one of these three balls and we can buy as many boxes as we like. How many do we have to buy until we get a set? That's what we can think about. So let's just do a trial. And since I can't really draw them fairly because they are not randomly and uniformly distributed, I'm going to think about rolling a die. This one has just the numbers one to three. So I'm going to let the color numbers be one, two, and three in this order. And I'm going to think about my set. So here is um, when I'm rolling this die, if I get a one, I'll take this. If I get a two, I'll take this. And if I get a three, I'll take this. Okay, let's see how long it takes. So I got a two, which is blue. I got a two, which is blue. I'm not making progress. I seriously am not making progress. Although that was interestingly a different two. Ah, a one. I've made progress. That's fantastic. Whoa. And I've dropped it on the floor. Two. I'm really not making progress again. A one. Still no progress. So you're seeing it's taking a while. I'm having to buy a lot of baseball cards. But aha, a three. And now I stop. That's the coupon collection problem. I want to know how many. So in this particular instance, it took me seven draws until I got what I was looking for. And in general, we can ask, well, how many does it normally take? How many do we expect it's going to take? So this is a question of expected value. And that's going to be a topic in probability. The same way we can do it in a probability course, we can do it in a discrete variation. So the coupon collection problem is a stopping time problem. It's similar to the birthday problem and that I'm looking at when I get different things, except now I want to keep going until I get a set. And that's giving me a stopping condition, okay? So I can think about, as I was doing this, I said, oh, that was good, that was bad. When was it good? The first time was good. When I drew the pink the first time, that was a good, that was a success. Then it, this didn't help me, didn't help me, and then this was my final success. So we can think about this coupon collection problem as a success and a failure events. So a success, what is that? We get a new color. That's a successful event. So when I got the blue, when I got this pink, and when I got that yellow, those were my successes. And now what's a failure? Failure is everything else. So we failure for each trial is get an existing color. So we can see here, this was fail, 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 okay? And so I can think about, well, I know how many successes I'm gonna have, and what I don't know is how many failures I'm gonna have or how many total trials I'm gonna have. But let's see if we can at least figure out the probability of these events. It's obviously gonna depend on how many colors I already have. So it depends on my state. So let's suppose we already have some colors. So we have K, colors. So we already have K colors, okay? And let's suppose that they're N colors in general, right? They're N colors in general. So instead of three here, I'm going to change this to an N. And suppose I've already gotten K of them, okay? Which is easier to think about? The probability of success or the probability of failure? Well, I think it's easier to think about the probability of failure, but they're both kind of equivalent. So the probability, probability of a failure event, given that the, we already have K colors. What is that? Well, when I draw, I need to draw one of those K colors, and there are a total of N colors. Okay, so what's the probability of success? Well, success is not failing. So the probability of we succeed, given K colors, is gonna be one minus K over N anything else that I get. I could also think of that as n minus k over n, but it's a little easier, I think, to think of it this way. So this is helping me think about, okay, well, I'm gonna have fails and I'm gonna have successes, but how can I put those together? How can I think about that and the fact that we have these k colors, okay? So I'm gonna think about another probability. So I'm gonna think about what is the probability that it took this long, okay? So the probability that on the seventh try, I got what I, I got my last success, okay? So I can think of it this way. So we have S minus one failures. 
And then we're gonna have a success. One success. And you can see that everything I've done depends on knowing that I already have K colors. This is the probability that I go from K colors to K plus one colors in S steps. What is this? Well, it's gonna be the probability that I fail S minus one times, the probability that I succeed one time. So we can just put in the probabilities we've already worked out. The probability of the failure is K over N, and the probability of success is one minus K over N. So this tells me, again, what is this telling me? This is the probability that after S minus one failures, I get one success. So I can think about that here, and I can think, okay, well, how can I put these together and think about the probability of this event happening? Well, I can think about, I'm gonna have a success, a success, and my last success, okay? Each time is gonna get me a new color. And so I can think about going through it and say, okay, we'll start with a success, because the first one you get is a success. And then how many times do I have to draw until my next success? That's some unknown parameter S. That means S could be one or two or three. That's telling me there's gonna be a summation involved. So between now and the next video, you can try to work out yourself, what's the probability in this very specific concrete problem, what's the probability that I needed to do seven draws until I got all three colors?